Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope everyone had a, a lovely Halloween and uh, is now excited to talk about inheritance. So we all know that parents, being the wonderful people that they are, uh, pass on information to their offspring. And uh, that information is in the form of genes which are located on chromosomes. Uh, to think of that visually, uh, we can draw out uh, the chromosomes that we've been uh, using here throughout our time uh, in class. And uh, genes are segments of DNA located on those chromosomes uh, that, uh, again, code for uh, specific instructions or code for specific proteins. So uh, in the drawing here you have say gene 1 for instance located at one particular locus uh, within the chromosome and then uh, gene 2 whatever that may be uh, is at a second locus when within the chromosome. So uh, this chapter basically looks at how this information gets passed on uh, to offspring uh, in terms of probabilities. Now, there is some basic vocabulary uh, that we'll focus on in this introductory uh, segment to sort of set the stage for the discussion that we'll have uh, related to inheritance and probability. So, uh, the first term is character. And we're not talking about you know, how you conduct yourself when no one is looking. Uh, instead, we're going to talk about uh, heritable features. So characteristics uh, that can uh, be passed on from uh, parent to offspring. Now, this contrasts with trait because we consider a trait uh, simply a variant as the book calls it uh, or we could think of it as a form <coughs> excuse me of a character now um, we can look at it this way or think of it this way um, character would be something like, for instance, hairline, whereas a variant on that would be, say, a widow's peak or no widow's peak. So again, the character is the uh, trait uh, that can be uh, exhibited and then, um, I'm sorry, a character is the feature that is exhibited like hairline and the trait is a, a variant on that. So sticking with our Halloween theme, let's say you can have an individual with hairline A. them a little mullet and the hair go down there and then you could have individual uh, with variant B that has the widow's peak still has a little mullet there. So uh, the, again the character would be hairline and the trait is the variant that uh, can be uh, possessed by the individual. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that. this 
to them just a little bit. Uh, the next set of terms will include allele. An allele uh, is simply a form of a gene. So, uh, I, for instance, you can have uh, in, in regard to hairline, a gene that codes for the production of um, a widow's peak, uh, or a gene that codes for a, a straight hairline, or like mine, one that uh, tends to be receding. Now, uh, organisms that have the ability to continuously produce uh, in successive generations the same characteristics are said to be true breeding. Uh, so uh, when we talk about true breeding, we're looking at plants specifically that give rise to offspring. Um, that always uh, have the same traits. So offspring of the same variety or uh, we could say more specifically traits okay so these are like the tall pea plants that always give rise to tall pea, pea plants and uh, we say specifically that these organisms are homozygous uh, meaning that they have two identical alleles or forms of a gene uh, for a gene or therefore trait. Now if the, their alleles vary for a specific gene then they are said to be heterozygous. Hetero meaning different. So then they have two different alleles Uh, for a gene or trait. Okay. Uh, now, we want to distinguish phenotype and genotype. When I think phenotype, I think of physical characteristics. Uh, so we say those are observable traits. Uh, whereas genotype refers to the genetic makeup of the organism. So what genes uh, does it possess? Okay, uh, last couple terms here and then we're finished. Now, uh, in regard to alleles, certain alleles will be dominant Now, dominant alleles uh, determine phenotype. So, if a dominant allele is present, then the dominant allele will be expressed uh, again determining phenotype. Uh, recessive alleles uh, have no direct uh, determination of uh, phenotype. Uh, they are only expressed or exhibited or seen in phenotype when the dominant allele is absent. Okay. Uh, finally, the last term we'll look at is a carrier. So a carrier uh, carries a recessive allele. So the person is technically heterozygous. So the individual does not have 
the uh, recessive condition. Sorry. But uh, by virtue of being heterozygous, the individual carries the recessive allele, which can then be passed on to offspring. Okay. So uh, what I'd like to do next is uh, use some of this vocabulary that we've discussed to look at concepts related to Mendelian inheritance.